I left Australia when I was around 21. It's important to my family that they recognize that sacrifice that I make by not being with them, that it's worth something. I'm really proud of what I do. I finally feel like I have something to show them for the first time. So it's time to tell them. It's time to show them exactly what I do. I started this business with a dollar, designing all this jewelry and not knowing whether I come out of this thing with 70 designs that no one likes or no one cares about. The stones, putting these colors together, bringing it from the mine, that in itself for me is where it's all at. People don't know that sapphires even exist in a different color other than blue. Princess Diana had a blue sapphire. Why didn't she have a green sapphire? Why a blue? Why not a yellow? Why not a pink? So for the first time when they see my jewelry and I explain to them that it's natural and it comes from the mine and we get it from the mine and we cut it, they're immediately intrigued just the fact that sapphires all of a sudden come in every color of the rainbow. Wow. And we put it together with that slightest transitional change, that graduation, it's so smooth, it's so beautiful. Not everyone can do that. That talent in itself has taken years to harness. So like every aspect all along the way and all they see is this final result and they go, wow, sapphires come in all different colors? Absolutely they do. And did you know we buy these sapphires from 24 different mines? All those different colors come from somewhere else in the world? So just that education process for me is exciting. It's like, nobody knows. In everything you do, there should be sustainability. It's important for the next generation. By pulling stones from the ground, I think it should be done correctly. With the earth being put back, I think it should be done so that it benefits the communities around those natural resources. Same goes with the people. By treating your staff well and sharing the vision, it benefits everyone. Everyone, from the guys at the mine that has never met my artists and jewelers, to the guy that flies the plane. Creating this real stable, secure future and sharing that vision, I think it really benefits people to a deep level. As long as I live, it'll be like that. I don't even know what human rights really is. For me, it's just treating everyone equally. All of this business is done on a handshake. Your word is everything. If a stone falls out of a piece of jewelry that I sell, I'll repair it, clean it, make it look like it just was handmade yesterday, and send it back to you, free of charge. And everything's just taken care of. It's my fault the stone shouldn't fall out. Once it's sold, I want it to be absolute forever. So to connect all those dots, that, that's the craft, that's the beautiful thing, the sapphires, the workmanship, the stones, the diamonds, to take the best of everyone's ability, what they do, to put that together, that's my craft. Look at the precision of the work that's gone in. You know, I just give the stone justice by putting it into a nice ring, by having it manufactured by the world's best, which is why a lot of people use me as their personal jeweler. The relationship is, is very close immediately. 99% of jewelry companies in the world are going through 10 sets of hands before they reach the retailer. I'm from the mine. No one else can do that. To get all these different factors in all the different colors across all the different sizes and shapes, all done uniform, will take someone a lifetime. To have that network of just these honest, hardworking, intelligent people that are highly interested in putting this together. I don't know another group of people like that in the world that can do that. It's quite amazing when you see them. And how do you tell them? Huh? How do you tell that guy that cut that sapphire that he's the best at doing what he does? And the girl that puts it together, she actually has no idea of the impact of what she does. Huh? It's really a beautiful thing. I want everyone to be so proud of what we do, you know?